US President Joe Biden announces a new $375 million package of military aid to Ukraine. Together with the entire G7, we have Ukraine's back and I promise we're not going anywhere, Biden tells Zelensky on the final day of the G7 summit in Japan's Hiroshima. Zelensky, who made a dramatic entrance at the summit on Saturday night, holds talks with several world leaders. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida condemns Russia and pledges an unwavering solidarity with Ukraine. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has condemned Russia as he wraps up the summit at the Hiroshima Memorial Peace Park. He Kishida has condemned Russia not only for its invasion of Ukraine but for its repeated threats of nuclear weapons which, particularly here in Japan, have been greeted with almost universal abhorrence being the only nation ever to have suffered an atomic attack, he said. Ukrainian president has been working the room at the G7 summit after making an entry late last night. He has had back-to-back -back meetings with leaders, not only of G7 countries but also a wider outreach group of invited world leaders. President Zelensky has been meeting these leaders in various settings including bilateral meetings some of which have been very significant but also the full G7 group where they have committed their unwavering support to Ukraine. President Joe Biden has announced a new $375 million package of military aid to Ukraine and told President Zelensky that the US was doing all it could to strengthen Ukraine's defense. Biden said the military aid package included ammunition, artillery, armored vehicles and training. Together with the entire G7, we have Ukraine's back and I promise we're not going anywhere, Biden told Zelensky. In the meeting, Biden stressed his country's readiness to help build Ukraine's long-term capacity to defend against and deter Russian aggression, the White House said. To that end, Biden discussed us support for a joint effort with allied and partner nations to train Ukrainian pilots on fourth-generation fighter aircraft such as the F-16, it said.